Hi everyone, this is JJ with Merritt Plumbing in Sarasota, Florida. Doing a quick video today about thermal expansion tanks on your water heater and why you have them and why they are necessary. So for many homes nowadays, their plumbing systems are installed on what is called a closed system. So what a closed system means is that the on the incoming water line to the home, there's a check valve or backflow preventer that only allows water to come into the home and never back out towards the municipality. So back in the day when we had open systems, when you heat water in a storage tank, the water expands. Just like when you put a pot of water to boil on the stove and you put a lid on it, that water expands and starts pushing the lid off of the pot. Same thing happens in your water heater. So in a 50 gallon water heater, when it's cold, once you heat it, that hot water becomes 52 gallons of hot water. Now, back in the day when we had open systems, that extra two gallons of hot water would just push back through the cold water line and back out to the munici municipality and into the municipal water system because water is always moving. Well, in a home like this that has a check valve or a backflow preventer, when the water heater heats, that expansion and that excess pressure, it can't go anywhere. So it's trapped in the home. So that can actually cause um, an increase in the water pressure which stresses the plumbing system, can cause your tank to wear out sooner, and then it can also cause the temperature and pressure safety relief valve to open up and then discharge water, which over time will cause this temperature and pressure relief valve to fail, particularly in Florida with our hard water, because as it closes and then the water dries and evaporates, it's going to leave minerals behind, and that's going to cause this temperature and pressure relief valve to potentially seize up and then not open in the event of a high pressure or high temperature situation, which is a really unsafe condition for the water heater because excessive temperatures and pressures could cause it to rupture or explode. So this thermal expansion tank prevents that. So basically what it does is this is a two gallon tank, two and a half gallons actually. So what happens is inside the thermal expansion tank, there's a rubber bladder. And what we do is we fill the top half of the tank with air, usually about five to 10 PSI over the working line pressure of the home. And then this way what happens is when the water heater heats up and the uh, water expands and the pressure increases, it will push that rubber bladder up and it will fill up this tank. And this tank gives that excess water pressure somewhere to go. So it keeps your house plumbing system below the maximum pressure of 80 PSI. And then when the tank cools down or you use hot water somewhere else, the air pressure pushes down on that rubber bladder and pushes that water back down into the tank. Um, now, the other important thing about that is, and um, you can see on here, probably can't because it's a mirror image, but I wrote down on the tank that I charged it to 60 PSI because the home water pressure was about 50 PSI. I always inflate these tanks to five to 10 PSI over working pressure because over time, just like your car tire, this thermal expansion tank is going to lose air. And as soon as it drops below the regular water pressure of the home, it's useless. It provides no benefit to you. So the other important thing about that is once a year, at least once a year, you need to have someone come out and inspect this thermal expansion tank to make sure it's still in good working order. And then to make sure that the pressure stays at or above the working pressure of the home. Because once it drops below that, the water pressure is just going to fill it up and it's useless. Um, and you, you'd also want to inspect it. And I would recommend replacing it at least every five years because these do fail. They do leak. It is just a plain steel tank. So after about five years or so, it, it's going to get a hole in it. And it's going to leak. Um, sometimes it can corrode at the threads, which is also why you want to make sure these tanks are not installed in the horizontal position. They always need to be installed vertical. Uh, if you install them horizontal, especially if they're not strapped and secured to something, what happens is typically most people aren't maintaining these. They get filled up with water, they get stayed full up of water, and then the threads corrode. And when they're horizontal, they just snap those threads and they start flooding everything. Um, so very important. These need to be inspected once a year and maintained. Otherwise, they're not doing you any good. So I hope you found that video uh, informative and I hope it uh, explains to you why you have a thermal expansion tank on your water heater.